Oh, what I'm saying is, is Jesus the divine Jesus? Yeah, is yeah. He the God of all flesh? Yes. Okay, is Jesus the flesh has a God? Does Jesus yes. the flesh has a God? Yes, because so, He's experiencing okay. credible. So now, hey, listen. Yep. Mm -hmm. He said Jesus, the divine nature, uh -huh. is the God of all flesh. Yes. Does Jesus is Jesus? Does Jesus have two natures? Yes. Human flesh. Yes. Human and uh, nature. Yes. And God, the divine nature. Yes? yes. So, who is the God of Jesus, the flesh? Yes. So, adopting a human nature. No. Hold on. I'm answering. I'm going to answer your question because I allowed you to speak. I'm going to speak, give you an analogy, okay. and explain how this is not an issue for me. Okay. So let, I'm going to give you the thanks to uh, solar analogy. So let's say we have person one and robot one. The, per, the human person, through a VR headset for example, places his personhood in a robot, thus adopting a robotic nature. This robot is able to fly, therefore the statement tracks that the human person experiences flight yeah, through adopting... I, I, hold on, hold on. Therefore, the statement tracks that the human person experiences the predicate of flying through adopting a robotic nature. So, the divine person of Christ, who is God of all flesh, adopts a human nature. This human nature is subjected to having a God, which is the Father. So, you can experience a predicate through adopting an experimental human nature, thus tracking the statement that the divine person of Christ adopts a human nature and now has a God, the Father. Okay, I will, now he contradicted his own words. Simply, now Trinity is gone from the window. Do you know why? Why? He said, Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh. Uh huh. So when I ask him, who is the God of Jesus, the flesh? He said, the Father. Is Jesus the Father? The answer is no. No. So the God of Jesus, the flesh, is only the Father. Yeah. Not the Son, the divine nature. So since Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh, so also Jesus, the divine nature, should also be the God of Jesus, the flesh. Are you getting my point now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the God of Jesus, the flesh, is not Jesus, the divine nature. At the same time, he said yes. that Jesus, is the, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh. But except what? Jesus the flesh. Yes. Jesus the divine nature is not the God of Jesus the flesh, but he is the God of all flesh. Yes. All means what? Including the flesh of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, so is okay. God. So the reason why this doesn't work is because the person of Christ is subordinate to Godhood in his human nature. Right? But he still possesses the divine essence, the divine whatness. So he possesses the, uh, the distinct predicate of divinity and humanity and he acts in relation to these natures. So him being subordinate to God the Father in his human nature does not contradict the notion that the person of Christ is God of all flesh because he's acting in relation to these natures. This is not a contradiction because these natures are in distinctive realities. He acts in a different relation to his humanity and his divinity. Again now, another contradiction. <laughs> he said, the God of all, all mankind is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Including Jesus, the mankind, the human nature. But when I asked him who is the God of Jesus, he said only the Father, not the Son, hold on, hold the on. divine nature, hold not on, the Holy hold on, Spirit. Hold on, hold on. Is the Holy Spirit the God of Jesus, the flesh? Yes. Uh, do you know why? Because, yes. hold on, because you, you see how he did, misquoted me. I said the person of Christ in human nature is subordinate to Godhood because he has a God in humanity but you can act in relation to two distinctive natures in distinctive realities this is very this is very simple it's not a p and not p because a p and not p a logical contradiction is defined as p and not p in a different in the same relation so i'll bring it back to my analogy a human person through a vr headset adopts a robotic nature this robotic nature is predicated with flying Therefore, the human person is predicated with flying. Now, this flying is not attributed of the human nature, rather predicated of the robotic nature. So you have distinctive realities, distinctive natures, and the person of Christ acts in relation to these uh, predicates. Therefore, you can act in accordance in a different relation. So the person of Christ is subordinate in his human nature and not subordinate in his divine nature. So, listen. You told me God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
yeah. since the fa the Son is God, yes, the divine nature, yes, and the Holy Spirit is God, yes, all of these three are your God, yes, yes. one God, yes. But why, when the God of Jesus, when I ask who is the God of Jesus, the flesh, you tell me it's the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. So I said Godhood. So you can say the Spirit. Who is the God of Jesus, the flesh? Yes. Is it, is, is it tri triune? Yes. Is the God of Jesus, the flesh, triune God? Yes. So, yes. Yes. Okay, wait. Yes, did you hear anyone uh, now again? He said the God of Jesus, the flesh, is triune God, which means God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the God of Jesus, yes. the flesh. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. So, Don't interrupt me. so Jesus, the flesh, God is yes. himself. So okay. himself. Yes. Himself? Yes. Himself. So do you do you see So Jesus hold prayed on, to hold, himself? Hold on. So uh, hold on, hold on. So you understand that I said the human person is subordinate to Godhood. So he's subordinate to the will of the Trinity, of the persons of the Trinity, and of the divine will and his energies. So I said that the person of Christ can act in relation to natures which are indistinct realities and the human nature, because I'm answering his question and don't interrupt the conversation. So the divine person of Christ in human nature can be subordinate to Godhood. He's subordinate to God and we identify God with the Father because the Father is God by identity. Are you saying, now I'll repeat for you. Yes. Before you said the God of Jesus, the flesh is the Father. And now lastly, you said the God of Jesus, the flesh is because the we Son and the Holy Spirit. Because we identify. No, no, I'll repeat for you. Yes. Is the God of Jesus, yes. the flesh. Because we identify. Yeah, no, hold no, on, no, hold on, I hold on. Because we, I, we identify God with the Father. Because the Father is our say. He derives the essence. So he's, uh, he's, hold on, he's God by identity. God is identified with God the Father. And we have economia, the Father sends the Son. So the human nature is relative to Godhood, is relative to the will point? of the Trinity. I'm not, I'm not talking about So, Shraj, Shraj, I've got a question. No, you didn't I've answer got a, it. Hold on, you I'm answering your question. It. What's your question? No, you didn't answer it. I had a whole other question for you. But later, later. He's a himself. I'm about him to having the same glory with God. Okay, no, no. what I'm asking, repeat for the sake of yes. again, yeah, because I don't want you to think we edited, yeah? Yes. I want you to be clear and specific. Yes. I'll repeat for you. Yes. You said your God is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I ask you, who is the God of Jesus the flesh? Yes. Repeat again. So, okay. Who is the God of so, Jesus the flesh? The who is it? In acting in accordance to the predicates of the human nature, yes, who is the, the person of, of Christ is subordinate to the divine persons, to the divine nature, and to the divine will and energies. Are you not getting my question? You don't understand his answer. Look, okay, I'll make it easier for you. you Jesus said, Jesus said in John chapter 20, verse 17, yes. I am going to my father and your father, yep. my God and your God. Yes. Who is the God of Jesus in this verse? Okay. Same so again, who, who, yeah, the Father okay. or the Son so or the Holy Spirit? Did we not already? No, who is the God on, of on. Jesus? Yes, yes, beautiful. Hold on, because I'm answering his question. So I want there's to two points. Yeah. Who is the God I'm giving of Jesus you, yeah, I'm giving you, yeah, the, the, so, the, the Father, the Father. Thank you. Because so, he said subordinate to God. Oh, okay, thank you. Before he said the God of Jesus, the flesh, is the Father, the Son he himself, did, yeah. and he, the Holy he, Spirit. He and now he said the God of Jesus, exactly the flesh, is only the Father. So, contradiction. So, Muslims, look, 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 Muslims. Oh, no, I just read it. He divided. Let me repeat what you said. Before you said the God of Jesus, the flesh, is the Father, not the Son, and not the Holy Spirit. And again, you said your God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. And now again, you said other, uh, another and uh, uh, other things. You you changed now your your answers to me. You said no. the God of Jesus, the flesh, is the Father, the it's, Son, it's and the Jesus Holy Spirit. Again, now person. again, the God of Jesus, the flesh, yeah. is only the Father. So it's, so now my yeah. question. No, that's what you no, said. No, no, no. So I've got a question. That's not what I'm saying. And no, I know what you're saying, but that's not what I said. So, is Je yes or no, is Jesus in the Trinity a divine person? According to you, yes. Yes, beautiful. According to you. And in his human nature, would he be subjected to the relationship between the Father and the Holy Spirit? Because he's in his human flesh. And these two persons are God of all flesh. Yes or no? Say again. So. The person of Christ in his human nature, yes. would he be subjected to the relationship, the relations of the Father and the Holy Spirit? 
But why no? Yeah. Jesus the yes. divine yeah. nature. Yes or no? Does Jesus yes. yes or no? No. 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 Okay. No. He's so, just the father. so did we not establish? Just the father. Did you we say, not establish? No, you just hold on, hold on. Did, did we not establish? Okay. Are hold you on. Saying, hold, listen, okay. listen. So we said that we identify God with God the Father because He derives the essence, right? God, Father, God is God by identity. So when we say God, we're talking about God the Father. Right? So that passage is talking about God the Father. That the three persons possess the same whatness of being God of all flesh, right? Being God of all corrected things. So when he's acting in relation to that human nature, he is he is subordinate. No, he's not subordinate. He is relative to the relations between the Son, between the Father and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so. I don't think they understand. Yeah, I don't think he's got. He has a question. I'm asking an unrelated question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the question? Respecting about equality. Uh -huh. So, yeah. If you accept for any, say, for any object A, A equals A, correct? Uh, yeah. Right. Reflexivity. Now, if A equals B, then B equals A, right? Symmetry. Yeah, yeah. And if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Yeah. I'm um, confused. I don't know if I want to be on camera. I'll stay off yeah, camera. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if I understand correct, I don't know what, I assume you're a Trinitarian Christian. I yeah, don't know yeah. exactly what sort of Trinitarian Christian. But my understanding of the Trinity is as follows. You have the Athanasian Creed, which says that uh, the, Father is, the Father is God, the Son is God. But by, the by a different Spirit predicate. Is yeah. God. But, but, but the Father yeah. is not the Son, the yeah. Son is not the Spirit, and the Father is not the Spirit. Am I understanding correctly? Yeah, so we would say, so we, we understand, yeah, yeah, hold on, because he mischaracterized it. So I, I, I don't hold to that exact position. So for example, the Father is God by identity, and the Son and Holy Spirit are God through is a predication. What? Yeah, so we identify God as God the Father, because he also saying he derives the essence, right? So he's... He's identified with God through identity. And then we have the Son and Holy Spirit who are God through the is of predication because they have begotten, inspirated, and they are described with the essence. So what you're essentially saying is that in, instead of having uh, the Father is literally God, the Son is literally God, you have, I'm going to use a form of phrase here, the Father is godly, the Son is godly, the Holy Spirit is godly, yeah. but they're no. all different. So, so, ra ra so rather, we would say that the Father derives the essence, so he's God by identity, right? He's identified with Godhood, and then he eternally precedes the Son and Holy Spirit. So they are all God, but they're God by a different virtue. Yeah. Then what you're basically telling me is that you have two different definitions of God, one that you apply to the Father and the other that you apply to the so Son. So you would be you, you'd be God. Yeah, so no, you would have no. Hold on, hold on. So you you can be God by different virtue because again, a God is a flatic designator. So uh, you can be God by different virtue through predication, through identity, through consubstantiality. Okay, but by being God, I, I assume that God is some kind of semantical concept, right? So, if God is some kind of semantical concept, uh -huh. the idea is that it, just, it, it is either a name for a specific object, or it is a uh, attribute that you can say that an object has, and then you can talk about the set of all godly attributes. And what I understand yeah. is that from Muslims believe that that set has one uh, element, but Christians believe that it has both three and one, and it, if you no. interpret so, it in the classical so way, God, it yeah, leads yeah, to a so, contradiction. Uh, hold on. You take it as so, an attribute, then you have So you're, you're, you're simply asking, is it like a synthetic truth about what God is? So do you know what a flasic designator is? No. So a flasic designator is a word which could be defined in different ways. So, that, that, so you have two so, different so for definitions example, of God. Yeah, you, you have different so definitions. Yes. God has different definitions. Yes. For for example, three, what, oh, hold three on, of them, and hold you on, believe the Father, on, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God. Suraj, Suraj, I want God. Suraj, Suraj, Suraj. Yes, one yes, God. So let me one answer. God by, let me answer your question. Let me answer. Oh, let me answer your question. Then I'm going to go back to why the three persons are God. Then we can go into orthodox theology later. Are you an orthodox? Yes. Ah, okay. But most Christians, I don't know that much about so most theology. Christians would hold to the position that it's a flasic designator. For example, you can be little G God. So God says.
to Moses, I will make you God of the Pharaoh. So you'll be Liturgy God. You, you can be God through taking part of his energies, taking part in theosis. But the three persons of the Trinity are God because they possess the divine whatness. They possess the some divine essence. As far as I can tell, there's really no way around this reality that if you find these things in the way that you're talking to him, you're not monotheistic by definition. No, not that. Not that I know. So, so the way. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So the way we define God as it pertains to the Trinity is. Is possessing the divine essence. So in an attributional sense. Okay. Yes. Look, look. But I don't have three. No. So okay. you have three subsistences, three okay. hypostases, look, look. which are God by a different sense. Let me make it easier for you. God. Okay. Well, I'll make it easier for you. I think no, that I'll make it easier for you. Oh yeah, go on, Suraj. His God. Look, His God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the God of Jesus, the flesh, is not the Son and the Holy Spirit. Only what? the Father. Well, yeah. You, so sort of is. That are you getting that point? Yeah. yeah. Sort of made that so yeah. now. So yeah. Times. Are there different yeah. gods? So is are God. Different yeah. gods or one okay. God? So. Okay. Does Jesus the yeah. flesh have a so father? So, bro, bro. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I'm either going to speak to you. Or I'm speaking no, to him. Me, no. So so far, I'm speaking to him. So yeah. don't interrupt our conversation. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 yeah. So talk to me afterwards. Right. I think I'm. I think. I think I'm. Uh, good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, your question, giving your question the confused. Okay, so okay. you understand, so, I'm answering so, okay. a question. Is Jesus a divine person? You have a According to you, yes. And did he possess two natures? Excuse me, my brother. According to you, yes. And are these natures in different relations? Excuse me, my brother. Are they the same? No, are they in different relations? Yes. Are they the same? Yeah, basically what I'm asking. The divine nature and the human, human yeah. nature. Yeah. According to their different natures. Yeah. So what do you believe in? So they're distinct, right? Distinct. What do you believe in? Great. So, all okay. the, do these natures have predicates? Do these natures have predicates? Okay. And this would then be acting in a different relation to the natures, correct? Are you getting my point where I'm coming? Yeah, I'm getting to your point. Okay. I'm, hold on. Okay. I keep on answering this question okay. Okay. and example, he doesn't engage. No, no. So listen, very simple. Example, look, look, very simple. You know where I'm coming from? Yeah, I know where you're coming from. Why is my point telling me? Yeah, so you, you're saying because the pers person of Christ yes. has a God, yes. this would then follow that he has a different, let's just say, set of gods to me because I worship the three gods. And you're yes, did Jesus worship three of them? Yeah, so he did Jesus worship himself, the divine nature? Yeah, so he would worship no, no, the Father. No, 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 I'm on. asking. Yes. Did Beautiful. Jesus worship the Son, the divine nature, or the Father, or the Holy Spirit? Which so, one? So we Which would say one? we would say a more better phrase for what you're asking is communication. Because no, no, hold Jesus on. Use the word answer, worship. answer. Yeah. Use so, the word worship and yes. pray. Yes. So pray so is who communication. So did Jesus worship and pray? Yeah, he was. He was communicating with the Father. Okay, the Father. Yes. God is. Yes. Did he worship and communicate to the Holy Spirit? I, no. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. If these three are one God. Why Jesus, did, Jesus the uh, the divine and uh, the human nature did not worship Jesus the divine nature and the Holy Spirit because, because these yeah. three are one yes one God yes if they are one God why did Jesus worship only the Father not the Son himself because not these the Holy are Spirit? The, these are yeah. they not God these two yeah, yeah. are yeah. they God yes because are these are the relate hold on this is the relations between the the Son the Father and the Holy Spirit as the Son is acting in his human nature. These are just the relations between the two persons okay, of the Trinity. Okay, do you follow Jesus' way? Yes. Okay, if Jesus' way, what is it? Did Jesus and worship the Son himself and the Holy Spirit? He accepted worship. No, no, you're not getting what I'm saying. Yeah, so what I'm saying is... What did is, I ask you now? No, no, what did I ask yes. you? Yes, so do you follow Jesus? No, yes. no, well, then what did I ask next? Yes. Next. And do you only worship the Father, No, correct? no, I didn't say that. So what did you I say? I said, did Jesus, if you follow Jesus, yes. who do you worship? The worship Father the Son, the and Father. the Holy Spirit. Because he teaches. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Who do you teach yeah. from, from so, worship? So, no, just answer. Yes, I, know I am you. answering your question. Okay. Okay. So, the person Jesus in John chapter 20, verse 28, worship is being worshipped and instead of rebuking him, he in fact encourages it. What did so I am saying that the human, the person of Christ adopting a human nature. You know what did I ask has, you? Yes. What so you, you, who no, do you no. worship? Hold on. Who do you worship? You answered Hold that on. one. Yeah. Then who did Jesus worship? Okay. That's all I'm asking. So, so name it. Who yes. did Jesus worship? 
So did, did, who would, did it, Jesus would it be sensible? No, who did Jesus worship? Yes, the Father. The Father. Yes. And who do you worship? The Say Father, it. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So who is the way? Jesus or you? Jesus only worships okay. the Father, and you worship yeah. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. So who is the way? Beautiful. So would it who make? Yes. Yeah, so would who it is make? The way? Yeah, Jesus or you? Answer my, okay. So clarifying question: Would it make logical sense to worship yourself? Would Allah worship Himself? So you said Jesus did not worship himself? Oh, yeah, because it's a distinct person. Okay, so Jesus... Bro, answer, okay. bro, bro, answer my question. Did you, is it logical, in, let's just say in a classical theistic term, to worship yourself? The answer is no. Beautiful. But you said... Beautiful. Like, hold on, hold on, Jesus hold on, hold on, hold on. I let him ask clarifying questions. I am simply arguing now okay. that it does not make logical sense for okay. Jesus to worship himself. So we have to appeal to in scripture whereby Jesus accepts worship. So the person of Christ is worshipped in John chapter 20 verse 28. Okay, did you worship the Holy Spirit? Uh, no. No. Okay, and who do you worship? The, uh, the Father, Father, the, the Son, Son and, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. So Jesus here is the way according to Christians. Yes. But Jesus the flesh worshipped only and worships the Father, not the Son and not the Holy Spirit. So you know an argument. If Jesus yeah. is the way and Christians worship three of them, but Jesus the flesh did not worship the Son and the Holy Spirit. And before now, by the way, for the sake of the argument, uh -huh. you said Jesus cannot worship himself. Yes. Correct? Yes. Is Jesus the flesh worshiping himself the flesh? No. Is he worshiping the flesh? No. No. So you said the flesh, Jesus the flesh, and Jesus the divine nature are two different natures. Yes. Did Jesus, is, does Jesus the flesh worship Jesus the divine nature? Yeah, so the, no. again. Did Jesus uh, yeah, worship the I'm divine nature? I'm answering question. Because now you're falling into the Nestorian heresy. No, no. Did but, Jesus bro, worship I am the divine nature? Brother, brother, don't interrupt me. Let me answer. So again, you're committing a category error. Natures do not do actions, persons do. And the one person of Christ possesses two natures. So you would not worship yourself, we've established this fact. And there is no distinction of the person of Christ and the human and divine. Rather, it is one person possessing two natures. So you would not worship yourself. You could accept worship, again establishing that a person, not a divine person, should worship the three persons. So Christ accepts worship, you would not worship yourself, so we would not appeal to whether Jesus worshipped himself, rather what he teaches in terms of who you should worship. You saying that he does not worship the Holy Spirit is the, uh, is the fallacy of silence. You're appealing to silence. We have scripture. We don't just appeal to the actions of Jesus and his ministry. We appeal to the Bible in the holistic sense. And we find in Acts, whereby it is said that lying is lying to God, the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is God. You are supposed to worship God. And we don't just appeal to Jesus and his ministry. It's an appeal to silence to suggest that because he does not worship himself. Did Jesus ask you to worship the Holy Spirit? No. Why do you worship him? Because in, in Acts, I believe it's 15, it says... Did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? So, the, okay, now yeah. again you said, yeah. the Father yep. and Jesus the divine nature and the Holy Spirit all are one God, yes? Yes. And who only can be worshipped? The, the one God. being of God. God, yes? Yes. Okay, did Jesus worship the Holy Spirit? No. no. Did Jesus the flesh worship Jesus the divine nature? If Jesus the flesh... The natures do look, actions, look, yeah. No, you know what you make, you, yeah. why are you contradicting? Yeah. Because you're telling me Jesus is God, the divine nature. And the Holy Spirit is God, but Jesus, the God of Jesus the flesh, is not the Son, the divine nature, and is not the Holy so, Spirit. Do, wait, do, wait, wait, yeah, so, and you saying Jesus the flesh did not worship Jesus the divine nature, and he did not worship the Holy Spirit, but the Father, God the Father. So this is so just now, a basic misunderstanding. So now, and Jesus yeah. did not, never ask you to worship him, or he never asked you to worship the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is. So who is the way now? Yeah, beautiful. Christians, Muslims yeah. worship only the Father, yes. God. Christians, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. Jesus did the same. Moses did the same. So are you saying yes. Christians are correct? So and the I've prophets got a question. Are okay. Who is correct? Okay. The prophets? So first of all, there's an issue here because you're making a basic misunderstanding of metaphysics. Tell me, okay. Hold on. Ask, hey, hey, hey. You, you said Jesus accepts worship. Bro. Show yeah. me where Jesus accepts worship. John chapter 20, verse 28. No, I want you to show me where he said worship me. Yeah. Accepted, yeah? Wait, so this Accepted. is not exact. Okay. Yes. So. And why do you think Jesus was worshipped? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Tell me. So I've got two things. Two questions, yeah? So, yeah. So where no, Jesus was worshipped yeah. and why do you think and where he accepted to be worshipped? Beautiful. With references. And I will give you my references. Uh. 
Okay, Thomas, put your finger here and see my hand and put it over your hand and place it to my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. That's point one. Don't okay. interrupt. Hold on, okay, Shiraz. Shiraz, okay. you've brought up several Explain points. One, yeah? you, hold on. You have brought up several points. Do not interrupt me. Now, point two, you have made a basic misunderstanding of metaphysics. Natures do not do actions, persons do. A person acts in accordance to your nature. Soul, you would not worship yourself. Stop distinguishing the person of Christ in his divinity and the person of Christ in his humanity because they're one in the same. That's point two. Point three, I have a question. Do we just appeal to Jesus' ministry? You didn't answer it. I, I did. Okay. Questions. okay, yeah, I'm answering your question. I, I am answering your question. Do not interrupt me. Three yes. What was my okay. question? Why did Jesus not pray to himself in the no, Holy Spirit? I, I, hold on, hold on. Why did Jesus not pray to himself in the Holy no, Spirit? No, no, did you not answer you. that? Did no, you not answer that? That one I moved on. I ask you. Yes. Show me where Jesus was worshipped. I literally showed you and that. Why do you think? Where did he say that? Because it was just his resurrection. He appeared to no, Thomas. Where did he say that he was worshipped? Okay. Why do you think he was so worshipped? So now we're equivocating. Why do you think he bro, was worshipped? And where did he bro. say worshipped? Okay. So beautiful. Do you beautiful. have any answer? Yes, I do have an answer. So stop okay. interrupting me. So point Give one. Me a reference, yeah. Please. John chapter twenty verse twenty-eight. I just read what it to you. What does it say? He says. Thomas says to him, yes. my Lord and my God. Uh -huh. What did he respond to? Because I just read it to you. Okay. You have seen and believed. Okay. Blessed are to those who have not seen and believed. And what did he see Christ? Okay. And what you. did Christ do? Raised from the you dead. Go with the context. Yes. Okay. Do you know why Jesus said now you have believed? You have believed. Because he's risen from the dead. Thank you. But he's not saying now you worship me. Did. You believed that I'm God. He never said that. So what the was context, he doing? Jesus, he said, so what now was he you doing? Have believed me because what did Thomas, Thomas say? was doubting about the resurrection. But what did Thomas yes. say? What did Thomas, Thomas say? Doubting. Hold on. What did Thomas say yes. when he saw the risen Christ? My Lord and my God. Because he saw the resurrection and he knew this confirmed his divinity. Why? What do you think? Was that, Jesus worshipped here? That's all yes. I'm asking. Yes. Where? My Lord and my God. So does that mean worship? Yes. Okay. So now, according to your logic, David is God who was worshipped. No. Ask me why. Yes. Wait. So, Samuel, yeah. Samuel and Lord David was worshipped according to you. Yes. Abraham worshipped as well. Abraham was worshipped. And uh, was Thomas, Esau yeah. was worshipped. Esau yeah. was worshipped. Do you know so why? Wait. Ask yeah. me why. Okay. Because Next. they were called Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyone, beautiful. according to your logic, yeah. if someone is called Lord, is worshipped. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Is so, that what you say? No. No. Let me respond. Okay. Let me, let me respond. Okay. What's Bro, that relax. So Lord means authority over. And if you read the context of John chapter 20 verse 28, yes. he holds his robe in belief. He says, my Lord and my God. Uh -huh. This is a sign of worship. Sign now, of worship? Yes. Because he was called so Lord. So does Lord mean God? Lord, uh, lowercase L. Yeah, no capital. Yeah, so lowercase L. No, lowercase okay. L. Oh, it's, so now you just don't know what that means. No, do you know why? So, no, yeah, no. Yeah, uppercase L. Capital yeah, so L capital L, L, upper, capital L translated. And lowercase L. Yeah. What does that mean? Uppercase L translated in the Hebrew means Yahweh. But Yahweh is a flatic designator. Okay, wait. So now Christians are playing two cards. Do you know yeah. why? Yeah. Because look, Genesis chapter 24, verse 54. Yeah. Abraham yeah. was called Lord. Yeah. Genesis Cha chapter, chapter, capital chapter 32, L or lowercase L? Wait, chapter 32, verse 4, Esau was called Lord. David, wait, 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 24, and 1 Samuel chapter 24, verse 8, do you know uh, King Saul King was called Lord, and David bowed for him, down, bowed down for yes. him. Wait, Genesis chapters 22, 23, I mean, verse 1, to seven, yes. Abraham bowed down for the people who supported him to bury his wife. So according to you, if someone bows down for you and calls you Lord, your God, and you are worshipped. Yes. So according to Christians are being biased. Yes. When others are yep. called Lord and God, cap lowercase g and lowercase l. When Jesus is called Lord and God is capital G and capital L. Yes. Two cards. So now, yeah. two so cards. What is so now wait. Yeah, yeah. Satan was called God, but according to Christians, lowercase g. When it comes to Jesus, lowercase capital G. Guess what? Yeah. 
until now you haven't shown me where no. Jesus was worshipped. Okay, beautiful. And why was yeah, worshipped? So, why do you think yeah. so? Beautiful, Show me where beautiful, Jesus was beautiful. worshipped. Shall so, I help you? I yeah, know the verse. Hold on, hold on. Relax. Shall I help you? Relax. Let me respond. So, what does, when we say in the Old Testament uppercase L, what does it translate into the Hebrew? That's the true God. But in Christians... The, oh, oh, no, hold on, hold on. Don't interrupt me. Yes. So, uppercase L in the Hebrew yes. means Yahweh. Yes. So, it's the translations. Uh -huh. So, uppercase L means Yahweh. But Jesus Lower is not a capital. L. Jesus is not a capital according to Jews. Huh? According to Jews, yeah. Jesus is not a capital L. Well, he's and called, it's not capital well, Do you know why? Ask, me why? Yeah. Ask me why. why. Because Jesus denied to be the God of Thomas. Oh. Ask me when. When? John chapter 20, verse 17. He said to his disciples, including Thomas, I'm going to my God and your God. So who's yeah. the God of Jesus and Thomas? Yeah. It's not Jesus, the so divine this nature. Goes back to it's our... not the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Who so... is that? The Father. Yeah. So this not goes back. Not the Son, not the yes. Holy Spirit. Okay, now. So, yeah. Jesus rejected to be worshipped. Ask me why. Christians right. use where Jesus, the disciples bowed down for Jesus. Yeah. Why? They said you, that's worship, an act of worship. Guess so, what? David, a lady bowed down for David, according to 1 Samuel, chapter 25, verse 24. A lady bowed down for David, and she called him Lord. Bowing down for someone, case. is that worship? Wait, wait, according hold on, hold to, on. Wait, wait, I'm coming. No, because no, no, now wait, wait, you've wait, just completely, no, hold on. Now you have just completely just avoided from the point, yes, because you, was, you didn't know I this. I said lowercase. Okay. Happy? No, so lowercase. what does that translate into? Lowercase. Because you understand. Jesus also is bro, a lowercase. Do you know why? Okay. Do you know why? Right. Because Jesus told his disciples yeah, and Israel, yeah. Israelites, O oh Israel, yeah. the Lord, our God, our means what? Jesus included himself to have a God. And that God is who? The God of his disciples. Yeah. That's the true capital L. Jesus is a false God. Do you know why? Why? Because Jesus was, when he was speaking to the Father, do you know what he said? So why is Jesus called oh, uppercase Father, L? You are the only true God. Wait. John chapter 17, yeah, yeah. verse 3. And that's, so now we're is preaching. Is the Holy Spirit the true God? Now we're no. preaching. Is the Father Wait. the Son the Bro. only uh, Bro. true God? Now the we're preaching. God. So Jesus let me respond. Hold on. Let me down, respond. Bro, others, let me respond. Others, they did not Brother. worship according to them. Bro, let me respond. So you said that Jesus is never referred to in uppercase L. So why is he called Adonai Yahweh? What? Why Jesus is he was never called Oh, beautiful. Ad Yahweh. Adonai Yahweh, yes. The sure. name Yahweh you yeah. cannot find in the New Testament. Do you bet? Now you're dreaming, my friend. No, I'm not dreaming. Jesus never used the name Yahweh. So, do you... Never, yeah, never. Yeah. Okay. So Forget now, about the translation. Yeah. No, never, hold on. Never, never. Yeah, he was. Luke chapter Jesus 6. Jesus called the Father Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where? Wait, well, hold on. So, the Father... The, no, the son rather. It's Jesus called Yahweh. Called Bro, God, yeah. you are keep on interrupting me. I'm, I'm I allowed you to preach. Okay, so I'm let me you. give me your arg my argument. Okay, so what is Kilios Kili uh, no uh, sorry, my my pardon. What does Adino Yahweh, what is it translated into in the Greek Septuagint? No, no. You don't Jesus know. Jesus never used you, the name Yahweh. Yeah, oh, Ask are you Christian. interrupting me? He, I am asking him a clarifying question, then I'm going to give him the reference. So what is the translation from the Hebrew texts, I don't know Yahweh, to the Greek subchildren? Yahweh has no meaning, according to you. Yeah. Does he have meaning? So, so, Does he have meaning? Yes. Yes? yes. What is the meaning of Yahweh? Yeah, so it's a, it's a divine title. It's a divine title. No, what is the meaning? Yeah, it's a divine title. No, what is the meaning? That is the, that is the referential force. No, what is the meaning? Yeah. Even God, capital G, yeah. is yeah. a divine title. So allow so me. So what is the meaning bro, of Yahweh? Yeah, bro, allow In me. In Greek, Yahweh. Yeah. What is the meaning of Yahweh? Yeah. So Greek, it's trans. I don't know Yahweh. It's translated from the Greek Septuagint to Kilio Kili, uh, Kili, Kili. So Yahweh bro, in Greek is another name. Let me Yahweh. speak. So the tetragrammaton of the Hebrew to the Greek Septuagint. Do you know what that means? So do you know when a word is translated and it's having a meaning in another language, you take from the tetragrammaton. And the tetragrammaton to the Greek, to the Hebrew, is kilii kilii. Kilii, hold on, Forget hold about on, he is interrupting me. Okay, you see speak. how he's interrupting me. Kilii kilii means Adeno Yahweh. Jesus reads from the Greek Subturgent in, Luke, in Luke, uh, Luke chapter 4 verse 10. Okay, what's Kiliai Kiliai Yahweh in English? Okay, so Kiliai Kiliai Yahweh, what's that in English? Means, it's the double vocative, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Yeah, so Lord, so, Lord. Yahweh is Lord, Lord. Anyone here Double vocative. 
Yeah. Anyone listen? Yeah. The meaning of Yahweh according to a new yeah. the double vocative. scholar. Yeah. Yahweh means I've Lord, got a scholar Lord. on that. I've got a scholar. <laughs> okay, thank you. I've got a scholar. Okay, so now what I'm asking. The historical Look, Jesus, page Jesus 60. Jesus rejected to be worshipped. Do you know why? Why? John chapter 4, verse 21 to 22. Do you know what he said? We worship what we know. We, he included himself, that him and his disciples, they all worship you know what that means? the Father, not the do you Son, know what that means? not the Holy Spirit. Do you know what that means? What's we, we well, worship? You, do you know what that means? What does it mean? Ultimately, you should worship and practice your teachings in accordance to what you know. For example, the Catholics hold to this principle of invincible ignorance, yes. that Jesus judges you on what you know. So if you do not know of the Trinity, but you seek to worship a creator, for example, the Catholics uphold to the position that God meets you down on your level. This yeah, is you what it means. What I'm saying. Yes. It doesn't mean that. Jesus is talking about. So you wanted He's a reference. No, so you wanted a reference. God, John, no, please. we are going. No, no hold on. Because you keep on running away from the point. So we're going back to the point. Because you, your argument. You hold on, bro. Show? Bro, let me speak. You're not controlling this conversation. So your argument is contingent upon the fact that Jesus is not called the uppercase L, correct? Yes. Okay, so I'm going That's to Christians. yeah. So I'm going to show you the, the historical Christians. Jesus and the temple, page sixty. Can you tell me who did Jesus and his bro, disciples worship? I am giving you a reference, bro. I am John giving you a reference. To I am giving you a reference. Relax, calm Does down. Answer John I'm an I'm answering his question. So we read, we read. I'm going to give you the reference okay. now. Uh, I don't get access to this. Michael Patrick Barber's book on the historical Jesus and the temple, page 60. He's, he says that Jesus is not referred to as uppercase L. And he defines it as Adonai Yahweh, right? So I'm trying to find the book here. Give me a minute. It's difficult to find this one. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, maybe this is it. I cannot find the PDF. Uh, my apologies. One second. Ah, uh, oh, I think I found it. Uh, page sixty. Uh, okay. Wait, so uh, hold now, on, hold on. I'm getting you reference. In the meanwhile. Yeah, no, uh, no. We're not doing this in the meanwhile. No reference here. He's telling me about a scholar. He's a scholar. <laughs> yeah. I'm loading it now. What's your DNA? What's your DNA? Jewish. Show me proof that you're from Israel. What's your Science. Jewish? You're from, from Europe. What, what are you you're Jewish? from Europe. Where are you from? Oh my. From Europe. Where are you from? Prove your DNA test Where that you're Jews. You no, prove DNA, Where then I will talk DNA? to you. Where prove you your from? DNA that you're Jews. We know Jews, the real Jews. Wait, but if I the real Jews are kind. No. They're not Jews. No, you're not Jews. Because the real Jews are not fighting. It's the Zionists are forcing them to fight. Yes, we know that. They look, they're here, they're here. You know, the ones who wear their hats. And their hair is here. Those ones, yeah. The real Jews. Yes. Science, your, your DNA is false, it's European science. Ah, really? Yeah, later, later, later. <laughs> later. <laughs> Prove that your Jews are Israel by taking DNA test. Yeah, I'm trying to find... Um, you can take them. Wait, could you find me a reference for me? Could what reference do you want to? The historical Jesus and the temple, page 60. <laughs> Page 60, is that the Bible? Yeah, so... The, the New Testament. Uh, hold on. So, this, the, do you know what the Greek Septuagint is? I was asking him yeah. reference from the Bible. Yeah, I am, I am. I'm giving you a scholar's commentary okay, on the okay, verse. Okay, one question I'm asking then okay. before I go, yeah? Okay. Do you know John chapter 4, verse 21 to 22? Yes. Jesus said, we worship... He was uh, refuting the Samaritans, yeah? yeah? He said, you do not know what you worship. And he said, we know what we worship. He included himself and his disciples that they all worship the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. You're totally not Jesus talking about Acts 4, 17. The true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit. He never said, so this verse, Jesus is telling us, anyone who worships him yep. or the Holy Spirit yep. or anyone else is a false worshiper. Yes. 
Are you so Jesus are you sure denied you're not to be about, worshipped. Are you sure you're not talking about Acts 17? No, I'm talking about John chapter 4 verse 21 Because Acts 17 says exactly He said we worship what we know. In this verse, yeah. where the disciples bow down for Jesus is not an act okay. of worship. So I'm going to give it's you the answer. It's an act of respect. Yeah. Same as Saul King, yeah. David did, Saul King. Yeah. To Saul King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Malen now did. we're preaching. Abraham yeah. did. So now we're preaching. Are you getting now? Yeah. Also, yeah. Daniel. We're now preaching. Uh, yeah. You know, Daniel yeah. chapter two, verse forty-six. Yeah. People yeah. bowed down for Daniel in terms of honor. Yeah. Okay. So, so you said. Hold on, hold on. So you said, Jesus is not referred to in the capital L. Kulios, Kulios in the Greek. That's Lord, Lord. Yes. Yes. The double That's vocative. Hold on, hold on. The double vocative. Yes. And that is the Greek Septuagint's translation Who wrote of the, uh, so Jesus reads from the Greek Septuagint the Greek Septuagint is the Greek Old Testament Who wrote it? The, one of eight uh, the I think it's 80 of the finest Jewish scholars do you rely on the Bible yeah so the Eastern sure? yeah hold on hold on okay. so the Greek Septuagint translated by 80 of the finest Jewish scholars which Jesus reads from in Luke chapter 4 verse 10 and he uses the double vocative Kulios Kulios which translates to in the Greek Septuagint, Adonai Yahweh. Now, I'm going to give a reference for the people watching. The Historical Jesus and the Temple by Michael Barber, page 60, he argues that Kulios Kulios is taken from the Tetragrammaton, meaning Adonai Yahweh. So, if we establish point one that Jesus reads from the Greek Septuagint, he is saying then that he is Adonai Yahweh. You done? Yes. Okay, last one, yeah? Look, you said Jesus, the flesh, has a father, yes? So now we're just distinguishing... Jesus the Son of God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one God? Yes. Can you separate them? Uh, no. No, yes? It's not composite. Okay, I cannot separate them, yes? Metaphysical So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I cannot separate them. All of them are one God. So yes. is Jesus the flesh, Son of God? Yes. Son of who then? A son of the Father. Why not the Son of the Holy Spirit? Because these are the. You just said all are one God. On, Why are you distinguishing now? Because these are the distinctive hypostatic properties. So now you distinguish. Bro, you're inter Hold on. Because what these what the, uh, the, the hypostatic properties are what make the three persons distinct: being begotten, being unbegotten, and being spirated. These are the relations between the three persons and what distincts them. These are three distinct persons, which are the one being of God. Now, if that's us finished for today, that's fine. Because we keep on going around in okay. the same circle. But I just want to say this. Jesus, Luke chapter 6, verse 46, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, is called Adonai Yahweh. It's very simple. That's according to you. It doesn't matter. No, Anyways, I've given you a scholar. What I've I was you. saying, yeah, yeah. You, you were not getting my point. I, I do. was saying, if all of us, our God, yeah. is, is one God, yeah. the flesh, all flesh, yeah. And you said Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh. But you told me Jesus, the divine nature, is not the God of Jesus, the flesh. Yes. But at the same time, you're telling me Jesus is the divine, Jesus, the divine nature, is the God of all flesh, except Jesus, the flesh. Correct? Yes. So let me just still man. So all hold on. means ex hold exception. On. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me still man. So you've been allowed to finalize the conversation. I'm going to wrap up the conversation, and I'm going to still man what I said. So we have two natures with predicables. The predicate of being subord uh, not subordinate, rather relative to Godhood. I keep on saying subordinate, but I really shouldn't. So being relative to Godhood is an experienced predicate for the human nature. And being God of all flesh is the whatness of the divine nature. These are experienced predicates in distinctive realities acting in relation to natures. So if this is us concluded, I'd like to wrap up on the recording and be done. Okay. So now he said to me, last one, yeah? I'll just repeat what he said. He said, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. No uh -huh. two gods, no three gods. And we cannot, we cannot distinguish them. But when I ask you, who is the God of Jesus? The, is, Jesus the, and the, is Jesus the Son of God? You said yes. Yeah. And you said God is one. God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit all are one God. Yeah. Since Jesus the flesh is the Son of God, Son of who? You said only the Father. That means the Son, the divine nature, 
and the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, and not God. Otherwise, the God, Jesus, the divine nature. Did I not? What did I say Spirit, in response to that? These two yeah. should also Saraj. be Saraj. the God Saraj. and the Father of Saraj. Jesus, Saraj. but they are not. What did I say so in response? God is finished. So what did I say in response? These are hypostatic prophecies by persons. You distinguish Hold on. them. You now, tell me now, yeah. We make distinctions, not separations. Distinctions does not entail separation. What is the, of, the, what is the difference between distinction and separation? Yeah, so these are not separate people. Rather, they're distinction. distinctions of Godhood. It's the same meaning. No, it's not. No, it's not. Distinctions does not entail separation. Now we're getting on to a different conversation. So I shake your hand. Hold on. Distinctions does not entail separation. So I shake your hand and let's end the no, conversation no. here. So let me ask you one thing. No, no, hold on. No, I'm going, yeah? Okay. I'm going. Oh. Okay. So now, do you believe Jesus practiced Judaism? Uh, yes. His time on earth when yes. he was the flesh. Yes. The flesh. Yes. 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 Okay. If Jesus, the flesh, is the way. Don't distort. Hold on. You're now. Okay. This is if a misunderstanding. Is the way and the truth. This is a misunderstanding. Okay. Why Jesus did not practice Christianity? Jesus, the flesh. Yeah. yeah. Why he did not practice Christianity? Okay. So this, this, is this is just another debate. This is just another debate. Hold on. Hold on. Hejaz, you keep on going to different points. So let's just leave the conversation. I'm going to wrap up with the cameras here, okay. and let, I bid you follow. Okay. Which so, religion is the correct Christianity? Christianity, Christianity. Very simple. So let me just wrap out here. Jazz, jazz. You keep on. You keep on. Okay. Beautiful. So did, did, did Jesus practice Christianity? Yes, he did. But Christianity went. Okay. okay. So. So, does Jesus practice Christianity? Yes. But the definition of Christianity is following Jesus Christ. So, G Jesus, a Jewish rabbi, taught his deity and taught his apostles to follow Christ. That's point one. Point two, he has a great misunderstanding of natures and persons. Persons do actions, not natures. And he acts in relation to those attributes. Point two, the person of Christ does have a God. But, because God the Father is God of all flesh, he is subjected to the relation of the Trinity whilst in its human flesh. I think that's a wrap up. God bless you all and I hope Siraj comes to the truth.